What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we complete episode one of a new series in the long-awaited Alpha 20 update for Seven Days to Die. As I complete the first quest, let me run you through the scenario real quick. I'll pull up the settings for you right here, but you can also check in the description of each video for a full listing of settings and mods that are being used. We'll be playing on an 8K map, and the seed is named after Patreon supporter Danny Frankie. So thank you to Danny. The series will take place predominantly in the snow biome, which will provide a major boost to the loot that we find, but will have extra dangers and challenges to deal with as well. The cold temperature accelerates food loss, but fortunately, there will be bears and mountain lions in abundance, but they're hungry too. So we've spawned in the forest biome, and our first quest takes us to the trader nearby, but I'm not interested in that. We're off to the frozen north. I'm gonna track my way there and grab any loot I can find along the way. I'll watch your back if you watch mine, Let's begin. All right, my friends, here we go. What is this, aloe vera seed? I don't think I need that right now. So I had a look at the map previewer when I was making the map, and um, fortunately we spawned pretty close by to the snow biome. There's a trader wrecked right over there. He spawned right outside of his compound, but here we go, guys, Alpha 20. I'm gonna gather up all the supplies I can. Now, we are wearing what's called the newbie coat. You can see that little jacket in the bottom left corner above my stamina bar. That is elemental protection that we get for the first five levels, and it tapers off over time. So our first day we get the most benefit and then less benefit in subsequent days, but that will give us some thermal protection so we can survive a little bit better in the snow. I mean, not that the cold is particularly dangerous, it just saps your hunger meter a little bit more. Kind of like how the desert saps your water meter a little bit more. But uh, yeah, we're going to need to get some clothing, we're going to need to get some insulated lining mods. We need armor, we need weapons, we need basically everything, and we need food. So let's see if we can work on that right now. Alright, that's a good start right there. That'll be probably dinner for tonight. Alright, so we need to spend our skill points. Uh, wh which way am I going here? I am trying to go to the northeast. Here we go. Okay, skill points. I'm going to probably hold off on one of them because... We might have to take a point into advanced engineering so I can get the forge. I want to see if the trader's forge has a schematic first, though. That would be kind of key. I could just save myself a point there, at least for a few days. I do want to go into archery. That is a good one to take. I'm going to take Master Chef because we're going to need a lot of boiled meat. And then I'll take one and two sexy T-Rex. That just helps with basically everything in life. So, all right. Watching out for the dire wolf and the other wolf and <laughs> probably other unknown dangers here. We're going to get all the feathers we can. Uh, let's see here. I should probably make a better bow at this point. Uh, can I? I'm short on some plant fiber. I can get some of that real quick. Okay, uh, wolves, please stay back. Yep, I can get that level 2 bow now, and, um, uh, fortunately I did get some honey out of one of those stumps I was working on, so good deal there. Okay, scrap that bow. Get an arrow in here. Oh my god, another wolf! Okay, taking a wide berth around all these wolves. Oh, I can't wait to walk around one of these trees and just smack right into a bear. That's going to be real fun. Or mountain lion, or wolf, or dire wolf. So one thing I do want to look at real quick while I'm thinking about it is, okay, if we look at the game stage, it's level one. So, you know, day one, level one, game stage one. However, if we go into our core character stats, loot stage is 22. And if we go into a town, we get another three points on top of that. So it'll be up to, oh, geez. Interesting little fight going on over there. Now, if I thought the Yeti could kill the cat, I might kind of wait, but um, I think the cat's going to win, so we're out of here. Yeah, so we're going to be getting really good loot right off the bat. I'm going to search every little bird's nest I can. We're going to need the arrows. That's kind of why I want the forge tonight, because I want to be able to make iron arrowheads, and therefore uh, iron arrows, because archery is like really, really good in uh, Alpha 20, so that's what I want to spec into. That's going to be our weapon of choice. Oh, shit. Ah, there's a cat on me. No, 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 no. Can I run? Can I make it? I don't know. Is he behind me? Crap. Um, just jump up here. Ah! Okay. <laughs> he didn't chase me. Wow, that was close. Let's go ahead and just slap a bandage on. Off to a wonderful start. I'll get some stone while I'm right here. The only mod that we're going to be rolling with is the inventory lock slot mod. I've ported that over from Alpha 19, so that's working. Alright, so I think we're coming up on the city where I've decided to reside in for the series. I believe that's it up there on the left, maybe? Not this place. There's like a, a small town and then there's a big city. So that's what we're kind of working toward. 
Holy crap, there's the Shang Tower right there. I guess that's where we're gonna live. Yep, this is the big city up here. Against my better judgment, I'm going to risk the frame rate drops and live in a big city. <laughs> Now, on the northern edge of this city, there is a trader, and it's trader wrecked. I so I I don't know. If, is it cheating if I looked at the previewer? I don't really think it is. I mean, it's it's a game option. It's like a game feature. It's there, so I looked at it. Uh, I wanted to know where I'm going, and there is trader wrecked at the northern edge of this city. So I'm gonna kind of just I don't know if I should go around the outside or if I should go straight through the middle. But um, I guess oh chicken. All right, let's let's try out our bow hunting skills on these yetis. It's gonna probably not work very well, at least early on, until I get some better arrows and better weapons. Really hoping that Trader Wrecked will sell me a better bow, or a crossbow for that matter. Oh God, arrows are going right through them for some reason. Uh, did I make a mistake trying to go with bows or what? Oh, there we go. Damn, that took forever. Yeah, I think early on we're just going to be not fighting the Lumberjacks uh, when we can avoid it, at least. It's kind of also scary. In the snow biome, it, it appears as though ferals just kind of spawn during the day and wander around the city. So, <laughs> look out for those guys. Hey, some corn. Oh, and there's a bear in the cornfield. What? Oh, there's a deer. Oh, I got him, but he's running off now. Crap. Ah, I guess it's not the end of the world. Get some potatoes. See if I can catch up to him. Oh, got him. Nice. Ooh, gonna be eating good now. Even better. Somewhat of an obstacle in the way here. Uh, can I just go around him? Mm, uh, ah, no, no. Oh, jeez, you gotta really watch out for them. Fortunately, they don't seem to give a lot of chase. Uh, I do have some frames now, so we can do the whole pull up and out of the way trick if we have to. Oh, man, another wolf. Okay, just gonna go this way. Ah! Oh, dire wolf! Oh, shit, this is bad. What? Why? Why? Attack the zombie! Get some bleeding damage on him! How about some fire damage? If we can- Ow! Whoa! Whoa! Bandage! Seem to be in a good rhythm here. Shoot him three times in the face, repair the block, shoot him three times in the face, rinse and repeat. Ah! Get back! Oh, jeez. No! The, the wolf died. And I got credit for it. I probably, like, caused bleeding damage or something. Get out of here, you son of a bitch! Ah! Not another one! Ah, finally. Well, at least we're going to be uh, very good on meat for a while. All right, moving right along. Note to self, stay away from the freaking animals. Ooh, look at that, a wrench. Wow, perfect. Thank you. Nope, oh, food, good stuff. Okay, what do we got here? Nice big flat open spaces. I do like that about Alpha 20, that the terrain is like just, it just seems good. Is that the trainer right there? It's not loaded in yet. I guess we'll have to give it a minute. Oh, yes, there we go. It's a trader. Yeah, so what I did in my game is I turned down the render distance because I was finding that in the city, my game is trying to render, like, things that are really far away and that I don't really need to see. Let me know what you guys are doing for performance and, and how it works for you. I, I do pretty good, but I get bogged down in some places. I, I'm hoping that, you know, it's still kind of experimental, so we'll see if they work on that. So unfortunately, working workstations have been removed from traders and removed from the wild, but I'm gonna check them nonetheless just to see if we can find a schematic. 
All right, skill points, intellect, advanced engineering, blacksmith, that will give us craft forges and craft items with them 20% faster. Oop, and we're very hungry. I did find some food, so we'll eat that. We'll search this bus here. I have found some good stuff in these little short buses before. Oh my god, an iron shovel! <laughs> That'll replace the, uh, the stone shovel that I literally just found. Oh yeah, the cool thing about Rex's compound is that you can, uh, like, kite zombies and bring them right up to this little row of spikes here and um they can't do anything he's just gonna die there so i guess if we got desperate enough i could pull bears and uh let's try that actually ah would you get out of the way i'm trying to get some food here i guess we gotta take care of this guy first oh look at this got a whole party going on there we go all right he's down Okay, I hit the wolf. Back inside. Let's see what he does. There he comes. Right over here, buddy. Come on. <laughs> Just shoot him in the face. Pull the arrow back out. Shoot him in the face. Aha! <laughs> there we go. And I got credit for that kill, too. That's good. Okay, good deal. All right, let's finish searching this compound here. Wrecked. Snappy as ever. Ooh, got a jacket there. That's kind of good. Uh, where'd that go? Oh, right here on the hot bar. Okay, how's that looking? <laughs> okay. Gotta do what you gotta do. All right, Wrecked man, give me a job here. You got. Uh, ooh, these are all like kind of far away, actually. I definitely don't want buried supplies. I'll take this one. Uh, gas station. Okay, fair enough. What do you got for sale? Ooh, this is like the best urban combat book. Ten percent more damage when you're indoors, and you take five percent less damage. So we'll be targeting that later on. Otherwise, he really has nothing that I think I need. So let's just sell him whatever we have. Yeah, man, that's that pretty much does it. Fortunately, we just we haven't been looting, so we don't really have anything. Oh, we have a car here. I didn't search. Um, yeah, <laughs> nothing in there anyway. Okay, get rid of that. I'm gonna just stash some stuff here, and we we need to go clear out a POI to live in for tonight. Okay, and now we're thirsty, so we'll drink this water, eat this food, probably harvest up just a handful of snow. There we go, eleven snow. That'll do. Okay, where can we live around here? Okay, little. Rinky dink POI right there. We've got that army camp over there. There's no hard structure there though, so not a good place to live. Ooh! This barn! This is a good barn. Uh, we've got the motel over there, and we've got that little shack right there. This farm right here. Another shack over there. Yeah, yeah, I think this is gonna be the place. Unfortunately, not a new POI, but yeah, we're only gonna be here for a few days anyway, and then we'll start building the new base. There could be boars here as well. Okay, we need to kind of clear this out as quickly as we can because Feral Sense is on at night, and that is kind of bad news. Oh, I was going to try to get a sneak attack on this one. Messed it up, though. There we go. Okay, is there a boar here that I need to know about? Or snakes? I feel like I remember there being snakes here before. Ooh, one-shot kill. Nice. Ha! Ah, whoa! Shit! Um... Oh god, run! Run! Ah! Ah! Whoa, buddy! Wow, he, uh, he can really run, can he? Aha! Eat that! You know what's, like, kind of ironic is that Episode 1 of the Vanguard series, which was the very first YouTube video I ever made, uh, this was the first POI that I cleared out in that series. It was even on the thumbnail. <laughs> and here we are. Okay, for safety, and because it's uh, close to night, I'm going to knock these ladder pieces out right here. And watch my head, because I think they might be coming in from above as well. Where are you? Oh, no, they're doing good over here. Oh, lots of activity. Hello. We meet again, Arlene. Ah, yes. The false floor here. Gotta be careful. 
Yo! Uh, okay, we're good. What is that, a lumberjack downstairs? Who's in here? Just levitate some torches around. Show off my magic skills. Oh, did not get the one-shot kill on that one. Oh, he's doing the creepy crawly thing. Uh, hey, level up. Arlene again. Okay. She's a creepy one when she's crawling around like that. Oh, hello. Oh, the knife, it sucks so bad. Oh, you know, we're level two, so everything kind of sucks. So I think they fixed it now where this is a thing you can do. You can actually jump up here now without it collapsing. Although I'm probably gonna be punished with a broken leg for risking it here. All right, you all wake up back over here. And down you go. Whoa, 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 man. No, you're not supposed to be able to do that. Yeah, that's what you get, jerk. <laughs> Too bad zombies can't get critical injuries. All right, so that is it for today. This is gonna be where we live right up here for a little while at least. Uh, let's get this loot and see what we get. Oh, wow. Iron pick already. If we could just get a hammer, then we'll be out of the Stone Age. Ooh, steel arrowheads. And we got a tempered blade schematic, Molotov, first aid kit, some shotgun rounds. Damn, I was hoping for, like, some kind of a weapon or some armor, but... Ooh, recog. Damn, that's some good stuff. All right, I guess that's it. Let's see if we can get a forge going. No, in order to do that, I need duct tape. So we can't turn bones into glue because we don't have the cooking pot. We can't get the cooking pot because we don't have the forge. We can't make the forge because we don't have the glue. Oh man, early game problems. We can, however, make some murky water, make some boiled water. Then worst case scenario, we can just make a little bit of charred meat. All right, there it is, nightfall. So zombies are now on sprinting speed and feral sense is active. So basically, unless I'm just crouching over here in the dark in the corner like this, uh, they can hear me and they're going to be constantly looking for me. So probably what I should do is jump on down and see if I can pick them off real quick. There is also the hidden stash that's in this little silo here. We should probably run over there and get that. My last chance for salvation here is searching the scrap trash just to see if I can get either glue or duct tape. Damn. Although this would be, this is nice right here. Um, if you guys could just blow that car up while you're all on top of it, that would be great. Holy crap, it's like Horde Night, my goodness. I can see the car like moving and getting damaged. I'm not sure if that means it's gonna blow up soon or what. And I'm not exactly sure that I'm not in the blast radius either. Come on, blow it up, blow it up, blow it up. Why are there so many of you? Oh, there we go, nice. And so here's what I'm finding. If I draw my bow, just for a second, hold still, they forget that I'm here, and then I get a sneak attack on them. You just have to be very patient. You just hold the bow back, wait until they stop moving, get a sneak attack. Okay, so with that point that I just, that skill point, I'm gonna go ahead and spend it now. I would like to go more into archery, so we'll take that into agility. There we go, that's the trick. Holy cow, man. Finally, it's over. I do hear zombies, though. Give me some of these arrows before I run out. God, I went through like 70 of them. All right, my friends, I think that's just about all we can do for tonight. Charred meat it is for now. Anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. The nights are long and cold, but there's no rest for the weary because the dead never sleep. So we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today, and good night. While you're waiting for the next video, check out the links below for more content, ways to support the channel, and ways to join the ranks of the Nerds of Steel. You can catch me on the Discord, Twitter, at the weekly live stream, or in the comment section down below. Huge thank you to all of my supporters who help grow and shape this channel. My name is Temreki, and I hope that I earned your subscription today. I'll see you next time.